Catalyst Game Labs is a studio well known for their Shadowrun line of RPGs. Uh, they've made other board games as well, such as Leviathans and more recently. Hey guys, Dalton with Nerdy Raptor. I'm here with Lauren Coleman, owner of Catalyst Games Labs. Uh, thank you very much for doing the interview with us. So, You're welcome. Uh, I know you guys have the Bravest Warriors stuff, which did it just launch here? Yes. Just launched. Uh, can you tell me a little bit about the Valiant role-playing system? You mentioned it before. Uh, I'm familiar with Bravest Warriors, but I've not heard of Valiant. Well, Valiant is a uh, graphic novel comic book line that was established uh, in the 80s and 90s, I believe, and then it's coming back recently and is doing very, very well. Uh, wonderful superhero universe, which is filled with a lot more uh, gray area than your usual. So heroes and villains are often separated by how they get up in the morning, you know, what, they, what they're doing today. Uh, and that, that makes it very, very interesting from a storyline point of view. And so we, we did a great new RPG that's just beautiful to uh, uh, celebrate that. And then you mentioned Bravest Warriors, which is a, a wonderful license uh, for uh, of the YouTube channel um, that Frederator Studios does. And it was uh, created by uh, Pendleton Ward, the same guy that uh, created Adventure Time. And it's very bizarre and very, very wonderful. Yeah. And then the other big item is uh, Shadowrun Crossfire. Uh, it was here and it's gone. It, it, <laughs> it, it, it blew out the doors, which we just are really excited about. Shadowrun Crossfire is our deck building game with an epic storyline and characters that you do customize and make better as you play over weeks, months, and hopefully years. Right. I was going to say, because the Shadowrun, like the world settings is so cool. The story is so rich. Like I know people who have just like, uh, Encyclopedias, like this is they can see, so it's just the world setting. So just like the fact that the card game might continue, is it its own kind of like storyline away from the RPG's meta plot? Or? It's it's set in the same world as the RPG. Uh, it's, it's basically a deck building game where you are runners on the street, your whole team works together, you all win or you all lose. Okay. And it's so you could basically create stories that supplement the main plot books. So if, if we're doing a, a normal plot book now where there's a big megacorp that's about to go on the warpath, uh, we could put out a dozen missions for Shadowrun Crossfire, which would all be adventures toward that same, uh, that same plot. And then again, you're, uh, a lot of people say that they play the card game, and it almost feels like they played a role-playing session. Really? And that's really what we were going for, so that worked out really well. So that's a really cool idea, because you were saying that uh, you get to kind of stat track as you go on from like session to session of playing the card game, so it almost is kind of, would you say it's almost like an alternative to like having to sit down for a campaign with a group of friends? Or? I wouldn't call it an alternative. What, what we've been saying for about a year now is, no matter how you play, cards, role-playing games, board games, we want you playing Shadowrun. It's, it's a fabulous 25-year-old property, there's nothing else out there like it. The whole uh, uh, urban fantasy dystopian uh, uh, setting that they came up with has held up and no one has challenged that in 25 years. And so no matter what you like to play, and you can play one or all those different, those different genres of games, it's all available to you. The world are, uh, is, is shared through many companies, including Topps and Microsoft. Uh, we will work together to keep the sto some of the stories working together, okay. but in general, uh, we all are exploring the world in our different ways. Very, very cool. So, what is Extra Catalyst like, especially with Shadowrun? Well, the big one is Shadowrun, uh, continuing our, our, our new approach to making sure everyone can approach Shadowrun, no matter what kind of game you like, is uh, Hostile Takeover is a more of a third-person uh, Shadowrun board game. Uh, similar to games like Lords of Waterdeep, something like that, where you are directing runners around the city to accomplish your goals. So you're more in the position of being like more like a Johnson, uh, uh, hiring runners, getting them in trouble, you know, getting them out of trouble, and uh, yeah, hopefully, and uh, trying to basically like corner the market in Seattle for the you know for the moment. And then we have other games planned for after that, following that up like a miniatures game and others. So again, no matter how you want to experience Shadowrun, we're there for you. I heard uh, from a few different people about the miniatures game. I didn't know if you guys had any more information about that. Um, we are working on learning more about miniatures as we go. We just uh, released the prototypes here for uh, five new Shadowrun miniatures for some role play for role playing miniatures for Shadowrun. Mm -hmm. And we are working on miniatures for Valiant and other other ideas that we are working on right now. So we are going to get, we're not going to become a full miniatures company or anything, but it's a big part of the gaming industry and we didn't want to leave that out. Right. All right. Well, uh, was there anything else you wanted to mention? Or? 
No, we're really happy with the way the games are going. Uh, I, I, the last one I want to mention is uh, the Duke is a great game we, we launched last year, and the sales just keep getting stronger. So that's an abstract tile game that I, I just want to pitch because uh, we think it's got it's going to have a long uh, a long life ahead of it. But other than that, we are just all of our games are exciting right now. Oh, yeah. They're doing well, and we couldn't be happier. So if you uh, if you haven't tried a Catalyst game, please pick one up at your local store and uh, give it a try. Uh, so the year of Shadowrun is still going strong, as is the rest of the year for Catalyst Games, it seems. Uh, once again, I'm Dalton with Raptor, and thank you very much. Thank you.